Your attention, Pokey please. Yellow Horse takes now the ball now in inning number nine, Arkansas. looking to close the number door. 47, Pokey Yellow Horse. Leading off the inning, Pedro Lead Valdez, as they'll Springfield. look to get something going here baseman. and even this game up. Pedro Valdez. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hit hard back up the middle, and it's a base hit. Two, two, and just two. like that, the potential tying run is aboard here to start the home half of the ninth. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Now batting, right fielder, Lewis Irvin. Into the box now, Lewis Irv, one, one, one. and they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Now at the plate, Danny Luther, the as he'll look to bring home that 12. tying run from second Danny. with a base hit into the outfield. Luther. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Tying and winning runs are on here with nobody out. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. third baseline but this will wind up foul still 0 and 2 working for the punch out and the offering grounded weakly down the line toward third not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. The one-two. First baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Relay, relay. And the tying run comes around to score from second. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit.
Ready for another shot now. Fabio now Angel. And he has a great opportunity Fabio. to win it here. Winning Angel. run at third base. Nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Way late on the fastball for strike one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. The 0-1. And there's ball one. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the one and two pitch. Four, four. Ground down the first baseline. Throw to the plate. The tag and the winning run is out at home plate. That could be a tough read for the runner at third because your first instinct is to take off for home on the ground ball. But when it's right at the corner infielder like that, it doesn't take a whole lot to nail you at the plate. Settling in now, Jim Weber. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through Weber. right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Oh. Here's his splitter that's taken for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Count is one and two now. Now the one and two pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. So coming to the plate, Todd Roman, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Here's the first pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Down the third baseline. Backhanded. Throw won't get him. And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. The batter number 15. Second in now, baseman. Albert Leon. Albert as the first Leon. pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A two-out hit would win it. Pass ball or wild pitch would do the trick just as well. The 0-1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. That's Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. The set and the one-two. Just hung in there on that one. The one-two pitch. 
Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer, and we're right back where we started from. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, and we are tied 2-2. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Espinoza. He singled his That's last time up. Jose Espinoza. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A bouncer one, to the one, left one. side. And there's one down now. At the plate, Brian Ramiro. He's one for now four batting. for the game. Center fielder, Brian Ramiro. Here comes the first pitch. This is foul right side. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And he got him. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Now batting, third baseman. Into the box, Pedro, Pedro Valdez. Valdez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The windup and the 1-0. Oh. Gets one, a small one, one. piece near the plate. That rolls foul for strike one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Castro ranging forward. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our tops player of the game in this one. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Springfield Cardinals hosted 15 total hits in the ball game. Rick Hughes claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that'll the put a wrap on things here this game. evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special hit. presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow base. us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game: two hours and 47 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
Your Pokey Yellow please. Horse comes out now of the bullpen to shut Northwest things Arkansas. down here in the ninth. Number 47, Pokey Yellow Horse. Striding in to start the ninth, Yoannis Hanna, and they'll need him to get something going here. Yoannis Hanna. Third baseman hugging the line here, now the first pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Swing and a miss, no and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Oh, Hit sharply one. on the ground. Whitmore has it, and there's one he's gone out. to start the bottom of the ninth. And that was a no-doubles defense in action right there, and it paid off big time. That ball was scorched, but the third baseman was guarding the line more than usual to prevent an extra base hit, and it ended up being pretty much right at him. That's good stuff. Now batting, the designated hitter. Stepping Fabio. in now, Fabio Angel. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike on one. one. Yellow Horse is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Right. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Fouled off. Ball the next 0-2 misses, and that'll count, move it to 1-2 one one two two. now. And 2-2. Two and two. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. The 2-2 two -two is a fastball yeah, taken okay. high for a ball. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Now batting, third base. Standing in now, Eddie, Eddie Aparicio. Aparicio. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Bernardo Abreu earns his first win of the season. Nate Ernst pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Hokey Yellow Horse records the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score for the victorious Naturals. Two runs on eight hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Ladies and gentlemen, Pokey Yellow Horse takes please. the ball now in inning number now nine, looking North to close Arkansas. the door. Number 47. Pokey, yellow horse. Leading off the inning, Eddie Aparicio, off, as they'll look to get something going here baseman, and even this game up. Eddie Aparicio. First delivery to him on the way. This is line to left. Sams is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. The catcher, number three. Into the box now, Jim, Jim. Weber. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Yellow Horse is known in part as a reliever with a, a clutch factor, perhaps. An escape artist is another way to put it. Regardless, he seems to be at his best when pressed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. No doubt about it, Matty V. And I call a guy like this troubleshooters. Guys that you can bring into a game with runners in scoring position. They don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more don't importantly, they make good pitches to good hitters to get out of tough situations. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been a impressed with the fielder. job these guys Number have done five. so far. Todd Roman. Here comes the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. 
this offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the whoa, hero whoa, whoa. and just start getting the leadoff guy dude, on. Dude, dude. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. And that fires me up right there. What a clutch A-B, a two-out single to get the tying run to the plate. That's all you can ask for. Digging in once again, Albert Leon. And Dan, what's the plan no of attack here for 15. the guy on the mound? Second well, I think they have to go right after Albert him. He's pretty unlikely Leon. to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he'll get back in standing. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Roman leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Ball and a strike. The one one home, and it's fouled away. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. It takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys at the home dugout and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. A 2 nothing finish today. The Naturals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Frank McDaniel gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Pokey Yellow Horse hammers down the save, his fourth of the season. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. Our final line score for the victorious Naturals. Two runs, six hits, one error. They left just one runner on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 21 minutes. A player receives a check-in from one of his coaches.